With the COVID-19 pandemic showing tentative signs of slowing down, we're all wondering when Taiwan's borders will reopen. Taipei City's tourist industry are eager for the return of international visitors. Now the city's tourist bureau has launched a new double-decker bus venture. But unlike the last tourist bus set to run the capital, this new bus also offers passengers a meal. A waitress sets down a luxurious dish to the accompaniment of light jazz. This almost could be a hotel restaurant, but no, it's a bus. The double-decker Taipei restaurant bus gets all its menu items from famous hotels. They've even put these glass holders on tables to stop glasses from wobbling when the bus is on the move, so you can enjoy the scenery in peace. The Taipei restaurant bus runs from Taipei City Hall MRT station past Taipei 101 in the Taozhou Ingram building. Then it heads on to Xingyi Baishou Cinemas and San Yasen Memorial Hall before returning back to the station. Three buses run daily, offering either afternoon tea or dinner service. The menu is different and so is the price, 1,000 NT or 1,800 NT. We train the staff in managing the jolts of the bus, that's the first point. Secondly, when our bus chassis drops low down, our speed will reduce as well to 20 to 40 kilometers an hour. There's no problem with transporting the meals in transit. The route it follows is, in fact, the route we planned for the 2023 Taipei Festival of Lights. We expect that if the pandemic comes under control, Taiwan's borders may be able to reopen six months from now. International tourists will be able to enter, which will be a great help for Taipei's tourist industry. The new restaurant bus is a whopping 12 times pricier than a normal double-decker tourist bus. Will anyone want to foot the bill? That remains to be seen. But whether it's this or something a little more quotidian, Taipei will make the most of the end of the pandemic whenever it comes.